Yes, in the background, you're seeing it right. You're seeing it correctly. Tuttle is in front of a liquor store. No, I am not off the wagon. I am here on special assignment to cover one of the biggest, biggest stars that we have had in the small little town of Edgewater, Florida. I am out here right now because I am going to get a chance to interview the one and only Jesse James Dupree. Hey guys, so I am here at the liquor store. What is the name of your liquor store, sir? Kenny's Liquors. Kenny's Liquors. So, the one and only. How are you, my friend? What up, Bubba Army? Yes. Bubba Army for life. So, when was the last time you talked to Bubba? You know, it's been, uh, God, it's been probably a couple of months ago, three or four months ago. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what is the new product here? Now, I have to tell you that I have enjoy because i have been in the studio and i don't know if you know this bubba had his whole studio bar decked out with all of your liquor which is the original that came out and then i've got the uh the the cast drink uh tennessee whiskey this is uh we only released about 20 barrels of this uh in the like this last year and kenny's got a whole barrel so they got a stack of it over there but what's left of it everybody's been knocking it out today but it's 120.8 proof then we have the spice this is like Captain Morgan on steroids. It'll make Captain Morgan fall to his knees and beg for forgiveness. And then uh, and then the honey bourbon right here would put the equivalent of five Viagras in every bottle. So be easy uh-huh. with that. That's why Bubba drinks it like it's it's water. So. Yeah. Now now let me let me ask you. So now what else do you have planned for bike week this year? Oh man, we're gonna be kicking Jackal's got a family reunion. We're playing up at Destination Daytona a uh, week from tomorrow, Saturday night, March the thirteenth. Gonna be a Jackal family reunion. Be our first our first show back since COVID. So we're excited to get playing again. Now COVID, have you had your vaccine yet? Are you going to get the vaccine? I have not had a vaccine. and uh, But, I, you know, I was out in Sturges last year. We had 600,000 people show up in Sturges, and I think I hugged every one of them because I didn't have a choice. But uh, luckily, knock on wood, I celebrate that I did not get the COVID. I, I'm beginning to wonder if I can get it now. But but I think there's more peop- there's people that are more deserving of the vaccine ahead of me, so we're going to let everybody get it knocked out first. Now, I got to ask you a serious question here. You know, Everybody knows you're famous for the chainsaw stuff. My dad had a uh, chainsaw pole saw, and I was trying to think, and I thought it would have it would have been corny to ask you to sign it. Would you have signed my dad's uh, pole saw? I'd absolutely have signed it. Yeah, yeah. Damn it! I I wish, yeah, I, I wish I would have definitely brought it. Now, one of the other questions. Now, Bubba's a big time wrestling fan. Um, was it a shoot or a work with the Tom Green thing? Like shoot by mean real, or were you guys working? It was totally real. I could, that cost me eight thousand dollars. I had to pay for that desk, so that sucked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you're a big baller and everything. I mean, Bubba and I have talked about that before extensively. I mean, Bubba knows it was for real. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was. Uh, I thought Tom would would be okay with it. I thought he would grab the chainsaw and finish the desk off, but he wasn't too happy about it. And uh, you know, he was t- he was turning that corner in his life he felt like he was doing something more serious and i guess i i kind of went in and, and screwed it all up for him but uh but we, we um we did it i'm not sorry it, it happened and it's part part of uh, the jackal history now something i wanted to ask you about and i mean if you don't want to answer it's fine but uh with the cancel culture that's going on you know the dixie chicks changed their name you know you have a band that has dixie ink in it uh, have you been pressured at all to like change change the name at all? I have not been pressured, and you know it's it's sad what's going on. You know, I think I'm more upset about the Dr. Seuss books being canceled. But you know, um, it's it it again, it's all fabricated by the government and the media. As far I mean, average day, ordinary, been, there's been black individuals, Hispanic individuals, or Caucasians. They've all been in here today, drinking some liquid America and having a great time, and. You know, it, 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 there's nothing like what they're trying to fabricate in the media. So it, uh, uh, they can shove it straight up their ass. I think America's fine if they just leave us alone. Did you hear the new one that they're making a big deal about? Uh, the Jeep Cherokee, the Cherokee I, Nation. I, I did hear about that. And again, you know what? They didn't, they didn't put the name Cherokee on that Jeep because they were trying to be negative or anything. They put it on there to, you know, because it was a great name and, and it, was, it was like Cherokee or the Braves or I, I don't think the Cherokee, I'm, I've got Cherokee blood in me and I just don't think it's right for them to be asking them to take the name off it. Now, let me ask you, um, have you been out, is this, uh, how many bike weeks have you done so far? 
Well, I, you know, it's been three years since we've been here, but we've played many of them over the years. Have you ever been out to the coleslaw wrestling? No. No, you have not. I am known as the intergender champion. You remember Andy Kaufman used to do wrestle the women? I actually got beat in the coleslaw, and I got to tell you, it was a hot, hot bike week that year, and I smelled, but I got to tell you, it was the closest that I had been with a woman in a really, really long time in the coleslaw. Should, I think you should wrestle our tasting lady right now. Oh, I got to tell you. Yeah. So, Jesse, do you have anything you want to say to Bubba? Uh, Just, uh, Bubba, I miss you, man. I, I love Bubba. Bubba's, uh, he's been family for many years, and God bless the Bubba Army. Thank you, Jesse. I really appreciate it. Your pow. So, so I got to ask, how is it working with the one and only Jesse James Debris? I must say, I'm a little bit humbled here. Um, huge, huge fan. So I get to stand here and pour shots of his brand. I must say, I'm having a blast with it. What is your favorite? My favorite? Um, I'd have to go with just the regular whiskey, the bourbon whiskey here. That's more of my thing. So you're, I mean, is there a... A whiskey. Now, what what is the difference between, like, is bourbon and whiskey the same exact thing? They are not the same exact thing. I can definitely turn this over to him so he can, <laughs> so Jesse can tell you. Bourbon is a whiskey, but yes. there, there's there's different things. There's, there's bourbon whiskey, there's, there's rye whiskey, there's straight whiskey, and uh, whiskey's whiskey. 